Hello, Aries. Welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the energy from June. Whoa, June 12th. June 12th? Yeah, June 12th. So I'm using the Angel Answers deck. So if you have a question, you could be thinking about that right now because this does have yes or no um, answers in it. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Spirit as an angels, please allow me to the term message here for the Aries Collective. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is for the Aries Collective. Thank you. What do we have here for Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising? If you believe, if you believe is the answer. And at the bottom of the deck, we have opportunity. So using your imagination, using your faith, using the law of attraction. Okay. If you believe whatever you need, uh, will be. All right. What is the energy for June? I keep on to say May. <laughs> June 12th, 2023. For Aries. All right. What is the energy on June, for June 12th for Aries? Mr. Rising. Ace of Wands. Action. New beginnings. Excitement. New opportunities. Okay. Starting something new here. It's very exciting. Something you're very passionate about. This could be something that you're creating. All right. Tell us the energy for June 12th. The Aries. Oh, Lord. So we got the Three of Swords here and the King of Cups came in on top of each other. And we're going to pull one more for Aries. So thank you. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So Aries, the Ace of Wands here is a new beginning. Okay. A passionate new beginning. Um, something could be starting here for you. I'm seeing here. Okay. I'm seeing this in a few different ways. So I'm just going to read the energy first. The energy here is like, there's something here that is new, that is starting, that is exciting. That's maybe very fast paced. Um, and very is something here is very passionate with the three of swords here and the king of cups here. I'm seeing an energy here of something or someone trying to heal a situation after a very painful truth that was exposed. And this could have been a truth that you came to the reality of the conclusion of and with the king of cups energy that you are trying to heal. You're trying to ground this energy and overcome it. OK, with the knight of pentacles here, I feel like you get a new start to do just that. And you're going to be moving forward slow and steady here, investing in yourself, investing in a situation. This could be a, a like an entrepreneurship type of um, energy here where you're getting over some sort of hurdle and you are balancing out your emotions and you are finding your grounding, your footing here and whatever that you're creating starts to pick up, starts to make traction. You're moving slowly, you're moving towards uh, a monetary success. Now, I'm also seeing this. I'm also seeing this as a, if this is a person here with the King of Cups energy. Somebody here where there's a lot of emotions involved is coming in and presenting you with a new opportunity, which could be very exciting, could be very passionate. It looks like if it's, if this is a love situation, it could be an invitation for romance or passion or sex, things like that. But with the King of Cups here on top of this Three of Swords, this is the person here that you may not be able to trust. They may have an, a lot, you may have a lot of emotional connection to this person here, but I don't know if you can see this with the Three of Swords, there's somebody pulling the sword out of somebody's back. And if you see in this deck, this King of Cups is kind of oblivious. Like they just don't care. Um, this person could be very indulgent or maybe they could even be just pretending like they don't care here. Um, this could be a situation where somebody like emotionally cheated, but there could also be like, you know, 
the real thing. I feel like if this is a person, they're trying to come back in after a heartbreak, okay? They're trying to start something new after doing something that was very hurtful to you, and they're trying to move forward and cover, like, some sort of common ground or find common ground. Common, common ground. And, like, Aries, this could be you accepting somebody back into your life who did this because you got the if you believe card. So it's like, will this work out? If you believe, if you try, you it could. But I'm even seeing at the bottom of the deck, you got the 10 of swords. So this was a very painful ending if this was a person that's coming back around. If this is a situation that you've got through that was very painful, I'm seeing a new beginning, but I'm also seeing a very slow a very slow move moving towards success but doing it okay but doing it okay all right so that's what i have for you guys take care